Dr. Vivian Child, a pediatrician, artist, and environmentalist. Dr. Vivian Child came here as a young woman in 1954 after working in her native England and a two-year stint in Africa. She had always had an ambition to work in the tropics. I came here because um, after my parents had died, I thought I would fulfill an ambition that I had always had to come to the West Indies. And so I applied to the colonial office for a job in the West Indies, thinking it would be Jamaica, but uh, there was a job in St. Vincent, so I came here. And here I have stayed, and I married here. And I'm not married anymore, but I'm still here. Dr. Child is a pediatrician by training, but as was typical of doctors here at the time, she didn't stick to a specialty. I came to be um, the physician at the hospital what they would now call a consultant physician, but they didn't call it then. There was just Dr. Gunn Munro, who was a surgeon, and myself, and a, a junior doctor. Um, those were the, we ran the hospital together. Mm -hmm. How was it in those days? Well, it ran all right, mm -hmm. but um, uh, there seemed, didn't seem to be enough room. There were two patients in one bed very often. After some time at the Kingston General Hospital, she went into the community. After I married, my husband lived in near behind Georgetown in Grand Sable Estate. And so then I did the district work. And after that, I've always worked mostly in districts. And um, since my marriage resolved, I've worked in nearly every district except Central and South Leeward. I've worked everywhere else at different times. And I've also worked in the emergency, casualty emergency, accident and emergency at the hospital and I've worked for many years at, at the mental hospital. I'm not a psychiatrist but they didn't have a psychiatrist and it lived and it was near my home and so convenient and so I worked there. So I've done a lot of different things. Dr. Child also paid specific attention to children ailments and the family planning. And one of the great changes since I've been here has been the enormous improvement in um, infant welfare. When I came, children were dying, babies were dying of malnutrition all the time, and there was no family planning at the beginning. It's taken about 10 years before family planning took on although we worked hard at it, and also that the malnutrition started to improve. So you spent a lot of time with children? Yes. Um, at one time I was pediatrician at the hospital for two years in, 70, in the 70s, and there was a, a lot of gastroenteritis and malnutrition at that time. But it's all got much better since. In recent times, Dr. Child made a significant contribution to the preservation of the architecture of Kingstown. When she arrived here, she saw that many of the arcades in Kingstown were being destroyed. And I thought the arcades were a distinctive and special thing, and very practical too. Not only beautiful, but practical, to keep people from the rain and the sun. Um, and so, in 1983, I started to put in articles every week into the Vincentian for three years, um, depicting, uh, drawing some of these buildings and writing about them. And that aroused a lot of interest, I'm glad to say. Even, um, even uh, with Sir James Mitchell, he was interested and mentioned it. And I think it has made a difference. And peop I see that when new buildings are put up, uh, if they have had arched arcades before, they still have to have arched arcades. And that is a good thing. And I'm very pleased that that has happened. Dr. Child also spent some time as a trustee of the National Trust in her effort to help preserve the Vincentian environment. As an artist, she painted a large number of scenes of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and many of them have found their way to many homes in St. Vincent and the Grenadines and abroad. Today, she lives quietly at Villa, writing her weekly column for a local newspaper and generally enjoying life. I'm not doing anything very much at the moment except um, 
I drive a child to that um, disabled school, and I also go to the Calico Day Nursery and play with the children and amuse the children. I don't do anything else much. But there was a time when she did much more, amounting to a significant contribution to national development.